Uh, now let's press on with the research and, and let's talk about a little bit about some of the things we found that were concerns. Uh, namely that firms don't have, um, most firms don't have adequate activity uh, on salesperson. I'm sorry, they don't have adequate data on salesperson Track activity, right. right? So what's wrong with the data they have? The short answer is they don't have enough of it. It's not complete enough. It's also of um, uh, dubious uh, accuracy uh, because it's self-reported. Uh, let's dive into those two things. First, uh, not enough data. We actually um, asked the question uh, based on all these four uh, these various modes of communication. We found that, um, as shown in the gray bars, firms consider all of these things important, especially the first four, uh, the more substantive ways of interacting. A majority of firms find that important, but at most, ju just 52% of firms have data they would consider m mostly complete uh, on these activities. Um, yeah. yeah, there's a couple things that struck me here. I mean, one, obviously, there's the ritual of I, I had the meeting and I go back to the office or I go back to my hotel room or whatever, and I type up my meeting notes. No good way around that, but um, certainly that's a it's a big chunk of time, and uh, it's 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 um, built into the you know ingrained into the selling process, and yet still we see just sort of fifty percent of firms saying that they were sufficient with that. What really struck me was the ease now of automating uh, email capture. Right, I mean every CRM system in the world now has a you know a BCC and send your emails off, and it's already tracked and. And yet only 52% are saying, hey, you know, that we're getting the data we want out of our email systems, even though it takes almost no effort at all to track. So um, definitely some room for improvement out there, I would suggest. Yeah, it seems to be stuck. It's squirreled away. I mean, keep in mind the people answering or participating in this research, they're, you know, sales effectiveness leaders, right. sales ops or right. um, uh, commercial effectiveness leaders, or they are uh, sales uh, managers at a middle level or higher and you know that so there all these assets might exist they just can't get to them mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and um uh so i was also really surprised at that i mean email by its nature is digital you know it's it exists somewhere it's captured somewhere <laughs> we just have to get to it um but this represents a pretty significant gap um we also asked about sales process uh, as we did in the other question, we found that, you know, most firms find uh, the ability to track activity by sales process. That's really important. 87% find it important, but just under half are actually able to do this effectively. Um, so a slim majority, um, but technically most firms are not able to track by sales process step. Um, why do you think that is? Is it a, a failure of really defining the steps? Is it uh, or a failure of just activity tracking in general? The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, we've done a lot of research on sales process. Um, and, we, you know, we find that it's um, um, generally um, fairly, um, you know, uh, it, it exists in a kind of um, wretched state in a lot of organizations. You know, they might have one sales process. They might have one sales process related to getting new customers, but the bulk of their revenue comes from existing customers. They don't have great process for that. Mm -hmm. um, or they haven't evaluated their process. So a lot of it is fundamental. And then, then you do have to get people, you know, we'll get to this in a moment, but you do have, you know, for most firms, tracking it is a matter of having someone report it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's a big, big issue. In fact, the title of this slide is Salesperson Report <laughs> Thyself. This is how we get the data on salespeople. Uh, let's, uh, on, on what they're doing. Um, for some firms, they are, in fact, automating capture mm. of these selling activities. Uh, but it's a, it's a minority. Um, others, um, and really for the most part, with the exception of email, um, the majority of firms rely on self-reported data from salespeople. Right. Well, and it makes you wonder what that the cost is there. I mean, that's 
you're asking your people to do double duty there and become uh, the front line for data entry. And it's just, I'm sure rife with, with holes, but also with, with content, you know, errors and, and, and content holes as well. I mean, it's not just the quantity of activities, but it's also the, uh, the, the actual data inside of it. So. It, it's, it's, it's quite true. It's worth pointing out also the um, kind of, um, conflict that is inherent in asking salespeople to do this. Because in many organizations, there is a mindset that, you know, we're checking up on you. Mm -hmm. um, so salespeople, you know, when they're asked to do things by management, they often look for bad news in this request. So salespeople often hear in the request to report information, uh, they hear, we don't trust you. Uh, and they hear, we want to limit your autonomy and freedom. And so I think right. th that's a little subtle in some organizations. In some organizations, it's super uh, explicit. We are checking up on you. So um, these things limit right. a salesperson's inclination <clears throat> to report. Well, as a sales manager, we've always used uh, or always had in our back pocket the public shame approach, right? Hey, everybody else is tracking it, but you're not getting your data in that sort of thing. And uh, I guess it's, uh, you know, carrots and sticks until you can get the information you want. And uh, I, I, I definitely see automation as a, a good way to, to try to alleviate the burden on both sides of that, uh, that conversation. Yeah, for sure. We're, let's cover off on that. In fact, we, uh, we'll, we'll uh, get to that in for just sure. a moment. The, um, uh, the other thing I'd um, point out here is that there's another pretty good reason that salespeople might not want to report activity data or, or report on what they're doing. Uh, and that reason is uh, it doesn't have any value to them to do that. Right. They know what, what they're doing. Um, does it help them to do that? It might not. So true. So true. So many of the solutions that have come out in the marketplace are top down and, and pushed upon the salespeople. And yeah. really want to provide something that actually adds value for them and helps them sell more effectively is, uh, is certainly a mantra that we have internally. Yeah, if there's one co concept I'd like to uh, introduce here for our people um, listening here and interested in this topic is that these self-reporting schemes, they come at enormous cost to the organization. Uh, they might not uh, have um, a um, explicit uh, price tag, but the cost is associated with the selling capacity that is diverted to do this. 